Hi, we're going to start off this chapter with the concept of current. So the symbol for current is the capital letter I, and it is typically measured in SI units of amperes. Capital A is the abbreviation for that. The definition of current is the rate of flow of charge. So delta Q, so Q for charge, and then over the time interval. So it's the amount of charge that passes through a particular region of space in a given time interval. And one way to think about current is the flow of positive charge, even though most of the time what's actually moving is electrons in the opposite direction. So if we have, say, a, a piece of wire and we have some, uh, some current going to the right, the electrons, which are typically the charge carriers, um, in most cases anyway, are electrons. And they are moving in actually the opposite direction. And what causes current to flow, or thinking about the electrons to move in that particular direction, is a local electric field. So the electric field in this particular case would be pointing to the right. Okay? And so that's the proximate cause of the motion of the electrons moving in that direction. The ultimate cause would be uh, that this wire is connected to perhaps a battery or a capacitor or some other device. Okay, so this electric field has to come from somewhere, but the proximate cause is, uh, is that local electric field. Okay, um, current has uh, one law associated with it, which is the junction law. It's also called Kirchhoff's current law. And the statement is that the summation of the currents going into a junction equals the summation of the currents going out of the junction. And so let's just uh, make up a problem here. So let's say I've got a wire uh, here, a wire here, a wire here, and a wire here, all of which are uh, either bringing in current or taking away current. And let's say that, that we have uh, seven amps coming in this way, and let's say that we have four amps going in this way, and then let's say that I have six amps going out this direction. Let's calculate how much current is going in this particular direction. Okay? And so uh, following this rule, we would have seven plus four equals six plus the unknown current going out. And so uh, pretty simple math here, I would equal five amps. Okay, so. Again, just to, um, to reiterate, you should understand the definition of current is the rate of flow of charge. Typically, you're not going to be using this formula directly, but that is, strictly speaking, the definition. Current is the fictitious flow of positive charge, while in actuality what's happening uh, not most of the time is electrons moving in the opposite direction. Electric field is the proximate cause of the motion of those charged particles. And then uh, we have this current law associated with current. Okay, thanks for watching.